Reddit users were subjected to an AI experiment courtesy of the University of Zurich in Switzerland. The researchers themselves have come under fire because it's not really ethical to run experiments on people who do not know they're being experimented on. We'll talk about it. Research has already found that people tend to trust AI more than they trust actual people so long as they are not informed that they're speaking to an AI. Granted, it does tend to vary a little bit. Around half of people trust AI to make things like medical decisions for them. The experiment centered around a Reddit page called Change My View. This is where people go and express their opinions and see if someone can convince them out of it. The results themselves were not particularly surprising. What is surprising is that it passed an ethics committee. Human experimentation usually has a fairly high bar. As a result, the paper may never be published, mostly because of public backlash. The researchers themselves are currently under investigation. We should all be concerned about this kind of research and not for the reasons you think. We already know more than half of web traffic are just bots. More than half of text available on the internet has been funneled through AI in some way, shape, or form. We've recently seen more high-profile cases where pretty much all of our AI models have been abused. ChatGTP and Claude have let users know that they're removing accounts that are bad actors. They've seen large organizations creating social media campaigns for disinformation. They're trying to sway public opinion in a way that we couldn't because an AI model is just more prolific than a person could be. There's a huge potential for abuse with artificial intelligence. The fact that people tend to have their opinions swayed more by a bot than by an actual person is deeply concerning, but it makes sense. We're all subject to our own experiences. AIs, though, they have access to the whole of human experience. You could imagine certain writing styles, certain trigger words, could tell you a lot about who a person is, what their experiences are, their education, and their location. An AI model can flip that switch and make a custom-tailored response for that person. Of course, we already know that if people are searching social media and they see a large amount of positive or negative commentary, it doesn't matter if those are real people or artificial intelligence. Bots. They are more likely to change their views based on groupthink. People use their peers as a way to shift their own opinions. And of course, there's nothing that separates bots from peers. Having a stricter review process for academic research is not going to change a thing. If anything, we're going to see these kinds of papers showing the influence of bots, and bad actors will use them to their advantage. There is also the issue that these models are allowing people who might not have the skills to really do damage access to those skills. Guardrails should be applied, and they are applied, but they're not all that difficult to bypass. There really does need to be serious legislation on how these things are used. 